Welcome to the boyhood home of Earl Hamner Jr., creator of the popular 1970s television series, The Waltons, and the house that served as a model for the show. Built in 1915 as a company house by the local soapstone company, the Hamners bought the home around 1934 when Earl Sr. was working as a machinist for the Alberine Stone Company. Earl Hamner Sr. lived here with his wife Doris, where they raised their eight thoroughbred children. This loving husband and wife have actually been portrayed three times in film and television. By Henry Fonda and Maureen O'Hara in 1963's Spencer's Mountain, by Patricia Neal and Andrew Dugan in 1971's The Homecoming, A Christmas Story, and by Ralph Waite and Michael Learned from 1972 to 1997 in the Walton's TV series as well as six movie specials. After the last Hamner family member moved out in 2003, Pam Rutherford, a friend of Earl's and native Virginian, bought and saved the house from demolition restored it, and kept it open for the public to tour for almost a decade before Carol Johnson, a longtime Waltons fan, bought it in 2017 to ensure that fans could continue to enjoy and share Earl's life and legacy. Skyler, a quaint community nestled in the foothills of the Blue Ridge, gave Earl everything he needed to create the characters and stories that have entertained millions around the world. While Earl wrote many scripts and novels, it is the stories of growing up with his family in Virginia that has served as his enduring legacy. Earl not only created the Waltons, but is the voice you hear at the start and end of every episode. For Walton fans, the seeds of ideas are all here. You can even imagine the children's voices echoing between the bedrooms upstairs as they said goodnight to each other. And throughout the community, you can experience the touchstones of the show. The Baptist Church, where the Hamners worshipped each Sunday. The Rockfish River, where their daddy went fishing. And Drusilla Pond, where the kids played and fished. The inspiration for the shed where John Boy had a printing press and where Earl would slip away from his boisterous siblings to write now serves as a gift shop called the Country Store. The general store and gas station known on the show as Ike Godsey's General Mercantile actually still exists up the Rockfish River Road and is known as Ike's. Even the inspiration for the bootlegging Baldwin sisters are well known to locals. Just across the road is Earl's former high school which became the Walton's Mountain Museum in 1992. More than 7,000 people showed up to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Waltons and to meet members of the cast and its creator. Classrooms were turned into the Walton sets featuring the kitchen, living room, and John Boy's room. And visitors can enjoy the newest exhibit, the actual pony cart that was featured in two episodes of the show. Fans of the show will be excited to learn that the Walton Hamner House is building a Walton-inspired Depression-era Virginia home, a five-bedroom, five-bath, bed-and-breakfast inn set to open in the fall of 2019, which will be the envy of every Walton fan. And each year, members of the Walton's cast attend fan-focused reunions in Virginia. Plan your visit and you can enjoy the thrill of meeting cast members and step back into time at Walton's Mountain. Come visit a piece of American history when times were simpler and family meant everything. Share the experience of keeping Earl's legacy alive and feel the love in the house that started it all.